Hello YouTubers, or if you're from my website using a chromebook.blogspot.com, um, welcome. And this is a video about getting voice dictation on your Samsung Chromebook. Now if you're like me, and you do a lot of publishing online, I do a lot of blogging and whatnot, and sometimes it's so much easier if I have a stream of thought to dictate it to just say it because you can speak so much faster than you can type. So I just wanted to show you um, a little shortcut, a little way I found that's free and it's a great app and there's a couple out there but this one I found seems to work the best. So this is how we go about it. Go over to your little apps and you go up to store And I actually stumbled across this on accident just as I was browsing. Then we just type in dictation. And then there's two here. There's Dictanote, Speech Recognizer, and this one that says Voice Recognition. Actually, I like this one much better. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click Free. I'm going to add it, and I might do another video comparing the two, and you'll know what I mean. So now, right here, we get this little icon that shows up. Now it's no frills, it comes up with this little notepad piece of paper. Then we just, we'll just clear the canvas, and click here to start dictation. The first time you use it, and wants permission up here to access your microphone we're gonna allow it but now it's good to go so let's give it a try this is a test of the voice dictation on my Samsung Chromebook that I found in the Google Play Store now how easy was that period see when you say the punctuation it comes right up in New Jersey, it is getting ready to snow this weekend. And I can't wait to make snowmen with my children, period. And you see, it works just fine. Then you can do a couple things. See, it's even listening to me. So let me just stop this. Now, what we can do is you can highlight everything and you know you can do copy go to a Google Drive document and paste it in and do whatever you want <coughs> or what you can do is this little thing right here export you can hit export and if you notice you can save it send it as an email, store it in your Google Drive, store it in your Dropbox, and then you can just access it. So I hope you found this little tidbit pretty exciting, pretty good. I know I did. And try it. And you know, you don't feel like typing. It's been a long day from work and you just, you know, you're inspired to write about something or if you have to draft a quick email or whatnot, you'll be surprised. You can knock out a 500,000 word blog post in a matter of minutes because you don't realize how fast you talk. And sometimes if you do what I do is I'll just dictate, I'll just talk about a topic. I'll just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and all of a sudden um, I have the whole page filled up with all sorts of content. I save it, I put it down, I come back a couple hours later the next day, I reread it, all I do is make some edits, and bang, I got a nice blog post. So please make sure to like this video, share it, visit my website um, that I have because I'm in the process of experimenting with transitioning from my HP laptop to a, a Google Chromebook and quite honestly it's been a great experience so far but I'm making videos and writing blog posts all along the way 
about little things that I've discovered, things I like, don't like. So please visit me. Um, and that's it. Thanks, guys. Please rate and subscribe.